Hello, welcome to the World Cafe Podcast. This podcast has been designed with curated content that centers on the power of words. Can we really do anything without speaking? Can we really do anything without the agency of words? Yes, that is what this podcast is all about. And I am your host, Amakri Isobwe, your neighborhood word trader. I believe in the power of words, for it is the unit of creation. I trade in words to profit my world. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Beautiful, the sunrise feeling. It's one amazing phenomenon that everything on the surface of the earth longs for that golden, what I call it, rays from the sun, be it, be it animals, be it humans. And sometimes I ask myself, what wakes us up? Is it the sun or our desire to become, to be? And the sun is like something symbolic that drives us. <laughs> I guess you're wondering, what am I doing on this bridge, this very hour? Before I go on to tell you, I would like to begin this by telling you a story about bridges. For me, bridges are very symbolic. They are very, yes, symbolic. There is this Norse mythology that talks about bridges. It refers to the Bifrost. For those of us who have seen the movie Thor, Handel, yes, when he had to open the gate. The Bifrost from the Norse mythology, it's a bridge that connects Midgard, that's Earth, to Asgard, where the gods are. So the bridge creates that connection, and there's this flow. So I'm standing on the bridge this very hour and you're wondering right (laughs) yes okay actually i want to take you on a tour of my city where i live presently and before we i take you on this journey i'd like to tell you how i view a city cities generally be it in the movie three things for me defines a city the design the nature and i call all the last one the aspirations Mm. the design could tell to the infrastructure the you know the road network the buildings what have you then the nature speaks to the geography the natural environment those we can see and those we cannot see that influences how the city runs and the last one I, co- I refer to as the aspirations, more or less the ambition, which points to the humanity within the city, that is people. Imagine when you go out there on the street, you see the swarm of people walking the streets, some moving in the same direction, others moving in opposite direction. But at the end of the day, you come to see the aspirations of these people from this cloud that envelops the city and the drives you see the energy and all that and i call this the dna design nature mm -hmm, and the aspiration or you want to call it the ambition of the city so all of this come together these elements come together to form a city and what the city should look like yes my city abuja that is where i am presently And from this bridge, connecting one point to the other, as it were, revealing the movement of things, we're going to begin this journey. You're wondering where we're going to start, where it's going to lead us to? All right, we're going to begin from a famous bridge, or should I say, connecting point in Abuja, the beggar, Julius Beggar roundabout. There's something about junctions in any city, the connecting point. It's like the junction reveals the connections around every city where people meet. There's like, you must stop, then you must also start. That's 
what a junction looks like. And the beggar junction is one spot. It's a meeting. It's a collecting point. It's a meeting point for so many activities within the city of Abuja. And sometimes it can be a madhouse, like during the rush hour. When you get to that point, you see the way cars intersect, the way people meet, you know, both commercial and private, you know, and it reveals a lot about the city, the energy, you know, you can hear the voices of the people, you can hear how the cars, you know, move. All right. I love it. Each morning, the chaos, you see, you see a pattern formed out of the chaos and people are just moving. Julius Beggar Bridge. There's a lot about the bridge anyway, how it came about. It was called the Beggar Roundabout on the bridge because of Julius Beggar, the construction company that did a lot of construction within the city of Abuja, you know. So the bridge or the car, the roundabout or the meeting point was named after the company. Now, can you hear the sound, the sound of the cars on the coal tar running through the roads? I see road connections in any city like the nerves within the human body, you know. Everywhere is far in a city and at the same time everywhere is near. This is because of the work of road connections you know and abuja as a modern city within uh africa and you know developing cities is connected by roads you can actually move from one point to the other seamlessly you know everywhere like i said looks far at the same time looks near now imagine what you're seeing now the traffic you're seeing flowing in is from the other end of the city from the a part called Lube. Now, before I go on to say anything about uh, the, the traffic flow now, Abuja is designed in such a way that it is surrounded by satellite towns. And, you know, the way it's designed, you have, you have Lube, you have Guagualada, you have uh, Nyanya, you have uh, Buari, you have a lot of satellite towns spread around the city. So it's like, if you can figure what a stadium looks like, you have a giant opening with a lot of entry points. And all of these entry points bring in humans to the center, you know, to carry out activity. And at the end of the day, they go back. So what you're seeing now is traffic, traffic flowing from Lube axis of town heading towards the Sound of you know like the sound of the rushing of many waters you know flowing towards the city center that building now amazing isn't it you know what a sight to behold in the morning in the evening this is what it looks like yep this is what it looks like it creates a lot of bottlenecks you know the traffic is heavy and you know all of that then Abuja has the business district that we call the uh, the central business district where you have a lot of government uh, buildings like the federal government secretariat, you have the finance, you have the what have you, you know, all of that. So you can imagine what goes on in this part of town. The traffic is beautiful. I use the word beautiful because you see people moving, you know, the buildings are I mean, just like beehives, birds, in and with all super energy. Yeah. Imagine, see the people working. You can see the way they are running. Yeah, that guy is shouting. He's beckoning on his friend. You can see those two people working. You can see the human traffic, the leg walk. Yes, this is what drives the city. The energy from the people connecting with the aspiration of the city like the city is alive it wants people to like fuel pour into it okay this part of town is called Banex. yes Banex warehouses a lot of malls you can see lg the lg mall 
You can see Samsung Mall. There are banks around this axis too of town. But there's something about the Banex Plaza, as they, as they call it, that area of town. You can practically find any kind of electronics you're looking for within this part of town. This is where the city comes to shop for most of, if not all, electronics. Fairly used, brand new, you want to repair. Obviously, you can see that's why the traffic is this heavy. And you can see how they are running across the road. You can just imagine what's going through the minds. We cannot do without electronics in this age and time. A lot of businesses thrive on technology, on devices, smartphones, smart TVs, and what have you. So this is one place you come to get them, and it is known for this. So you have a lot of energy. Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of energy. Oh, yes. I remember the story Alexander the Great's mentor and teacher Aristotle told them about his going on his conquest that each time you get to a city and you conquer the first thing you should create is a commercial hub market buying and selling you know a city is known or revealed if you want to really know how a city works look at how it's the market act the market activity or commercial activity goes. Now we are at Wuxi Market now. Yes. We just left. You know, I said something about Banex, electronics and all that being sold there. Now Wuxi Market has the modern look of a market and at the same time it preserves the ancient look of a market. It is about the busiest market in Abuja. You can find anything and everything called commodity within this space. And there's one thing that is in Wuse market that is not found in any other market within the city, and that is gold, the gold market. Yes, Wuse warehouses the gold market in the city of Abuja, and the energy is, you can take, you can literally take a chunk of it and put on a plate and serve it to anybody. Yes, the noise, the energy within this space is beautiful. Use market, you can see now, business activity. Just imagine going on, transactions, money exchanging hands, energy flowing. There's this receiving and giving, you know, going on, trading, more or less within this space. Sometimes a good number of us dread going to Use market because it can be a nightmare the traffic and you know human activity going on yes you have some you know the dark side of human activities all right okay i'm a lover of coffee i love coffee i drink good coffee now i want to take you to this spot i i get about the best coffee here in the city of abuja Yes, the place is called House 43. This is where I come to get my coffee. You know, cappuccino, espresso, mochaccino, what have you. It's so beautiful, isn't it? The ambience. I love it. I always come here. Sometimes you just sit, you know, over a cup of coffee to like refresh, get inspired and, you know, get on. The city is still developing a lot of a good part of the city there are construction works going on it's like you, you know that that universal thing that the universe is still expanding every day you know it's just growing expanding the city is still expanding too so you have a lot of construction works in some part of the town that is ongoing so that's what you're seeing now you know expanding the roads you know and uh because of the huge traffic coming in that can accommodate our vehicular movement and also, you know, human movement, bringing in of goods and services. That's what you see there now. Every city has some beautiful, what I call it, monument or structures or places that define the city. You know, Abuja has 
some wonderful spots that defines the city, you know, like the World Trade Center. That's about the tallest building. That's about the tallest building within the city, you know, the city of Abuja. I will call it the Burj Khalifa of Abuja. It's about uh, 23 stories high, beautiful. As in when you're driving in from the city gate, it's in poor oozing structure you see you know looking at you and that's the world trade center amazing view you will agree with me the centenary city when you're driving in from the airport one of the first should i say iconic structures you will see is the centenary city you know it's it's, it's built on a hill you can see how beautiful it is the view and all that is an ongoing project unfolding every day is like a jewel hidden within the city for the Christian faithful. The Dunamis Dome, as we call it, is another iconic structure within the city that defines the skyline of the city. Beautiful structure, massive, I must say. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can see it with a beautiful ray of the sun on top of the, the roof reflecting grace glory and also human desires yes beautiful it's beautiful abuja warehouse is also a modern structure for for trading activities that is the jabi the jabi lake mall it's about the biggest mall in the city here like you can see a flip side of wuse market it's yes it's a mall more modern with a lot of uh, shops, brands, you know, and all shoppers come here. People come here to shop, you know, and people also come here to unwind, to rest. The mall warehouses other uh, activities like play area, and uh, it has the arcade. There's an arcade here. There's also uh, a viewing center, a cinema, you know, where people come to. You know, see movies and all that. You will agree with me. A city is a life. Is a life with sound. Sound of the living. <laughs> you know how we do it on the show. Yes, this is the place we come. To lean on one another's experience. And to forge a positive path. Till I come your way again. Bye for now. Art and time it has been with you on the word cafe podcast today thank you for being there you can catch me up on my social media handles twitter facebook linkedin instagram all at amakri isoboye also you can get copies of my books a cocktail of words the color of words and my hr notebook on amazon and on robin heights online bookstores you can also subscribe to my youtube page at the same address. Yes, till we see you again. Bye for now.